Hey, what is going on, Geminis? Butch Tarot here. I'm going to do your one week read. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. I'm going to be using the Lightseer Tarot. With all that being said, let's get it. First, what do we have for Gemini? What's going on for Gemini's universe? What message do we have for the Gemini's? Right, Gemini's. So the first thing I see is I feel like this is someone that you already know first and foremost. We have that Six of Cups. You know, and I feel like with this person, I feel like there's a lot of anxiety on both sides. You know, I feel like you want more from this person and they want to give you more. But I feel like the problem, I mean, we have that Nine of Swords, that sleepless nights, that anxiety. You're feeling like they're not committing. They're not sure what they're committing to. You know, this person knows exactly what they want. They want to be with you. They've never been so sure of anything in their life. I mean, I, I feel a confidence in that. You know, they're very confident of what they want. They see you as their person. They feel this undying connection to you. You know, and I, I feel like there's moments when this connection is very intense. You know, this connection is something much more than either one of you thought you could ever have. And that's what keeps this person at your door. They're not going anywhere. But on the, on the flip side of that, neither is this relationship. And the reason for that is I feel like this person doesn't know what you really want. You know, I, I, sometimes they feel like, you know, the communication that, that you couldn't be, you know, you couldn't communicate any more with each other like there's things that you can talk about with this person that you've never been able to talk about with anyone else and vice versa they feel the same way and in those moments in those moments they want to take that leap of faith they want to believe that you feel the same way for them as they do for you they want to believe that you, the two of you were meant to be together. And even more than want to believe it, they do believe it. But then there's moments when they feel like they couldn't be any further away from you. You know, they feel like they're the out, you know, on the outside looking in. Almost like your life is a movie that they're getting to watch. You know, and I feel like with that, that's when we have those tower moments. That's when the chaos sets in. I feel like you're very similar people. Very similar. Almost. Almost identical. You know, two halves of the same 
same piece. Like, like I said, I, you have such a strong connection with this person. But then there's moments when you feel like this person is being defensive, you know, almost feeling like they're trying to push you away. I feel like this person is mirroring, mirroring your energy. You know, there's moments when there's doubts. And it's not because there should be. It's because it's the energy that we're putting off. Like I said, they know exactly what they want. They see the potential here. But, and there's a big but there. The reason why they're not showing up when you expect them to show up is that internal struggle within them. You know, they're, they're feeling like they need to stand their ground. Like I said, they're not going anywhere, but this relationship isn't going to go anywhere until we can find that common ground. You know, we can find that balance. You know, I feel like there's moments when this person, they want to move this forward. You know, they want to tell you everything that they're feeling. Like I said, I feel like you you can communicate with this person. I feel like there's great communication, except for when it comes to the things that really matter. And that's why it's not moving as quickly as we think it should. You know, it's it's action versus communication. Everything in them is telling them to move forward, to take this the next step. But then there's moments when everything in them is telling them to hold on, to stand, stand your ground. I mean, this person thinks about you all the time. You and only you. It's only ever been you. Since the moment they met you, it's only ever been you. But that's the problem that some people run into with Geminis. I know Geminis very well. And I say this with complete confidence, but also with the utmost respect. We all know that sometimes Geminis can be back and forth. And sometimes when you're the person loving that back and forth person, it can be very confusing. You know, in one minute, they feel like you want them. And the next minute, you feel like they haven't made their mind up. But trust me when I say this, this person puts in a lot of work to continuously be there. And they will always be there as long as you want them to be there. But this hot and cold energy, like one moment it feels like you want them. And the next minute it feels like you're not sure what you want. And that's what scares the shit out of this person. Is the moments you don't, don't it doesn't feel like you know what you want. Even though I truly believe that you do know what you want. I feel like this person is having a hard time reading that. Because I, like I said, I feel like you can talk, you know, I feel like you have a very open with each other like you can talk about anything you can laugh about anything you have the same sense of humor you know like I said you're very 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 much alike and in that we find part of the problem I feel like they're honest with themselves and I feel like you're honest with yourself but I feel like we're not being honest with each other. You know, we have the, the Queen of Swords. I feel like we've thought about this. And you've thought about it. They've thought about it. 
They know what they want. They're sure of it. You're sure of it. The problem is, is we haven't reassured each other. It's about who's going to make the first step. You know, there's moments when you know that they want to be with you. And there's moments when you know you want to be with them. Then there's moments where you don't know if they want to be with you. They're just dragging you along. Now, where I said you're very similar, they have the same issue. There's moments when they don't know what you want from them. But like I said, this person, they're not going anywhere. They want to nurture this. They want, you know, they're going to continue to chase you because there's no other, there's no other place they want to be. But sometimes I feel like, even though we have great communication, I feel like the silence is what, is what's really causing the issue here. You know, I feel like you've already built the foundation. We're just still discussing of how the frame's gonna go up. You know, the foundation's there. You know, I feel like, I mean, we have the sun and the nine of cups. I feel like this, this connection that you have with this person, it, at times is the greatest thing you've ever had and the greatest thing they've ever had, but it could be more. It could be so much more. And until we make that known to each other, it'll continue to be this chaotic hot mess. Moments where you, you, you know, everything's great. And then there's moments where it's like you can't see eye to eye. But one thing's for sure about this person and one thing's for sure about you. You protect each other. You know, you're there. It's a very protective energy. It's also very... You want to be there for each other. You want to move forward with each other. But neither one of you are willing to say it. You know, it's like, it's like if you've ever been out with a friend, say you go swimming, you're outside of the pool or you're on the diving board and you're like, you go and I'll go. They're saying the same thing to you. You take that first jump and I'll jump in with you. But it's like, you're both there waiting. It's like that romantic love, you know, romantic tug of war. But neither one of you is pulling. You're just staying there. It's not going anywhere. And the funny thing is, I feel like you trust each other. But the problem is, is trusting yourself. I mean, this person knows what they want. I feel like you know what you want. But I feel like sometimes there's moments when their energy says something different than what they're saying. So it can be very different. But that's the thing when you meet someone that's very much like you. When you do something, they do something. And it's back and forth and it will continue to be back and forth until one of us takes that, takes that next step. You know, you want them to be all in and they want you to be all in. But you won't go all in because they're not going all in and vice versa. That is the biggest problem we run into when we meet someone that's very similar to us. We need to react in the way we want to react. We need to react in the way that if you want something from this person, give them to it. You know, give it to them and they'll give it to you. And that's where we're at right now is like, you trust each other, but you don't know if you can trust yourselves 
that makes sense. But like I said, the potential here is astronomical. What you felt in moments with this person can be what you have forever. But we need to allow it to grow. You know, it's... I do see us getting, you know, I do see you getting there. I do see four movement here. So don't give up because they're not going to give up on you. <clears throat> that's one thing that's clear in this read is you have someone that has your back. Someone that will be there for you. And they'll always chase you because you're always going to be the one. And very simply put, the one. But remember that sometimes people match our energy, especially when we're very similar. It's like in a moment you're like, I want to move forward with this person. I want this person to make a commitment to me. But you're not offering a commitment. You both want this. And you will get there. Like I said, I see a lot of happiness. I see a lot of emotional fulfillment. I see a strong foundation being built here. And it will all come together. But like I said, there's going to be moments where you feel like this person isn't as into you as you are into them. And just remember that they, they match your energy. They feel that too. And the reason why this hasn't moved forward yet is because neither one of you have taken the first step. Somebody's got to be the first one to jump. But I do see this moving forward. I, I honestly feel like there's no other way but forward. And sometimes we got to get through the rocky road. Sometimes we got to get through the bumps in the road to get where we're going. Like that saying goes, sometimes we need the rain in order to have a rainbow. But like I said, I, I do see this moving forward. I don't think there's any other way this could go. Because I, I, I feel like energetically you're being pulled to each other. Like magnets. And the sooner we have that real talk the sooner we can move forward but this is someone like I said this is someone that has your back just as much as you know you have theirs and there's a reason why sometimes it gets hot and cold but they're still there with this person we have Aries Leo Sagittarius We have some Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, Gemini, Libra. We have Aquarius too as well. You know, it's like, think about those moments where you have doubts. Well, they have doubts too. And I feel like the reason why you have these doubts, why, why you both have these doubts, is because you're picking up the energy of the other person having a doubt. <laughs> no one said love was, wasn't complicated. But know that there's a reason why you're being drawn together. There's a reason why you can't quit each other. It's because neither one of you want to. And that unspoken thing speaks volumes. That's what I have for you. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.